All right, welcome back in. So today, pipes, I'm going to show you how I did this, how this is a walkway. Now, I didn't actually go up in the air to show you. Uh, some might think that it's just a trick. That it's not really, you can't really walk over it, but I'll show you, you sure can. So, I can stand, jump, I don't fall off. It's perfectly capable now. Here I could because I, I had to remove the filtering deck in order to show you this trick because I needed the weight uh, to be reduced to put all these super heavy catwalks. I really hope they fix that. Four kilograms per catwalk is just insanity. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how you did this today. Uh, just fair warning, this sucks. It's a pain in the butt. I mean, it looks like, oh man, you got them all and they're straight and they're perfect. Yeah, okay, that's hours worth of work to get just that done. To save, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, twenty. I saved twenty kilograms on this five hundred kilo ship to do this, and whew, it's a doozy. So, what do you need? You're gonna need a water tank. It doesn't matter which one. They both have the same outputs on the bottom. You see right there the two knobs, the the tennis ball looking jobbies, and you are also going to need pipes. So number one, the problem you're going to have is you can't come from this end. So I think it has something to do with intake versus outtake. So this is the intake and this is the outtake. If this outtake isn't beyond... All right, so you look at this guy right here. Let's get something I can point with better. Okay, so you look at my crosshairs. And you've got this little groove in the catwalk. If you are not at least to this line right here, which is kind of hard to figure out because when you're setting the the tank down where the bulb is on there, where that tennis ball looking jobby is, it's kind of hard to tell exactly. You need to be beyond this point where you set the tennis ball jobby, which basically means you're putting it about in the center. It's not exact, but it's better anyway because it looks nicer if you center it than if you have it off-centered, and you're still not going to fall off, so you're okay there. So we are going to do it that way. We're going to put it in the center. Oh, I already have it out. So let's say I have these right here, and I want to get rid of... I don't know, a couple, but I want to put this satellite way the hell out here. So I'm going to put it where this guy is roughly in the center left to right. I'm looking at the left one, and it has to be beyond that spot. So that little nub, it has to be further than that. So I'm going to stick it about right. It's roughly centered. It looks like it'll be beyond. It's kind of hard to tell until I put the thing on there. So now let's get a pipe. Let's run that down. Nope, wrong one. That way. Okay. I didn't really center it that well. I can tell already by looking at it. Well, it'll work for this purpose. Now, that is not enough. Just doing that isn't enough. So I'm going to take one, and I'm just going to go to the center for this one. You could squeeze it up and come up to another piece, but I'm just going to go to the center. All I want is an additional little connection so that hopefully it'll let me delete two. So I have to get rid of this. Now, you see the pipes are still there. If I were to take this up, then I'm going to have issues because it doesn't have the container there anymore. But once or as long as I have the container, I can put those down. Now, let's see if I got it right. We're going to do this one first because we're coming from this piece. And I did. Now, how, now let's see if it works this way too. And it did. So I got lucky. I'm not going to say it's you're always going to get this lucky, although I didn't put it straight, and that just will drive me absolutely crazy. So, But now, if I were to want to have that as my little, um, I don't know, satellite platform, it's a little platform I've got off in the way, and... It doesn't matter why you have it, but you needed to have it for some reason, and you needed to reduce the weight. So now I have it. Be a little weird. I hope they fix jumping one of these days. Jumping is terrible in this game. Because, you know, you hit 
the edge of something and all it does is jump you straight up. So now I can walk straight across this. Now, obviously I could fall off because I don't have railing, but I can get straight across that now that I have that little job. The issue comes if you don't get that um, initial placement right, and boy, is it it's twitchy. Like, <laughs> it, it doesn't give you any wiggle room. So if I do put this back, I'm going to take this off here. I'm going to take this one off. So we're going to put these back. Now you do have to have... Actually, let me show you what I mean by this. So you have to have the... So I place this, and let's say I, I cinch up on it just a little too much. See, right there. Right? So now I'm, I'm over this imaginary line right here. And I can't place these right now because it sees the floor is ending right there. It won't let me go anywhere. I, I can run out here. Hey, now why is it working? Oh, because it reaches far enough. I'm, I'm just curious on this. I'm, I'm almost bet that if I take this off, that's going to go away. But let's find out. Holy crap, it worked like that. I mean, it does get pretty close. Well, I don't. There's another option for you. Remove it. You have have to be able to get to it. Is the issue. So as long as you can send your pipe all the way to where it can go to another spot, it'll do it. But if you're too far back, it stops because it doesn't see this. Meh. All right. Well, that worked. But anyway. Um, I will do another video about how you do all the piping. That, man, I fought with that on my main ship for a while to get all this to be happy. And the issue is this right here on cockpits. This beam, it hates this beam. Those sockets absolutely hate the beam. So when I came in over here... So right here, in order to get it up to this to go into the floor, I had to bring this up as close as possible. But I can't go up any higher because the beam's in the way. And it, with the beam, it won't let me actually go through it right. It it throws a weird error. So I will be making a video I on my other main ship. I did a huge, huge amount of gardening. Like, it's a massive amount. So I'll do a video on how I did all that and kind of... I don't know how to explain it. How you can satisfy your OCD because of the way the tanks are. If I pull this tank back out again, there's an issue that they have that's super annoying. So I have this tank here, right? Do you notice how the outlet is only in one spot? So if I run it against a wall on this side, that's fine because the outlet's right there along the wall. Now, this is the small tank. I would never use this. I don't know why the small tank exists, to be honest, because your sprinklers are always on the ceiling. Uh, I don't know why there's an outlet on the, on the base. They should have made the small tank just this, just this piece, but all the way to the ceiling because there, there's literally no point in this unless you're sticking this. Now, even sticking this up on a table, it doesn't work because your pipe has to come out there at the bottom so now what if I wanted to place it against a wall on this side my pipes over here so in order to fix it which is a huge pain is it even gonna let me do it <laughs> come on I don't have a floor there so it's gonna be like no <laughs> anyway I would have to come off it come over here to the side where the wall is link it up and then run over it. and it's it's so dumb why why can't we mirror this so that that outlet then flops and this uh, 45 goes like that i'm going to make a video about that as well anyway thanks for watching guys